Begin the massage treatment, take some oil, place it on your hands, and then spread it over the face, making sure to evenly distribute it because we're going to massage the entire face and also stimulate the reflex points. To start the massage sequence, in facial reflexology theory, they like to move from the forehead down to the chin to start for relaxation purposes, and also because they believe that most diseases are caused by nervous system overstimulation. So we want to relax the person by massaging in a downward motion to start, and then we'll do a tonifying massage, which moves from the chin up the face into the scalp. So to start, you can go on the middle of the forehead and you can just do a couple of strokes going across the forehead. And you don't need to use a lot of pressure. Here we're just looking to start the treatment with a little bit of relaxation. You can even stop at any point as you go to the side of the head, get the client to take a nice deep breath in through the nose and slowly out through the nose. And you could repeat that two to three times just to help them bring down their nervous system. And then once again, continue forth, doing a couple of rubbing motions across the forehead. You can even go into the brows and do a little bit of pinching along the brows, which is really nice and relaxing. And then you can massage by moving across the brows with your fingertips. And you can do this five times. This is going to be really nice for anyone who has eye strain from looking at screens too much. It's really going to help to ground your client. Now after you've done that, you can go to the cheeks and move around the zygomatic arch, pulling up and just moving down the zygomatic arch. This is really nice for sinuses. And then to finish the beginning of this treatment, we're actually going to press down on point zero, which is just beside the ear. And this is the typical grounding point in facial reflexology. So after you're, you've done a sequence, whether it be the relaxing sequence, the tonifying sequence, or you're done with the reflex points, we're always going to finish on this point, point zero. And you're just going to hold there for about 10 seconds. So I'm just going to show you guys a little bit closer for point zero. So it's right across from the ear, right around here. And what they typically do is go up and down gently, and you can do this rubbing motion 10 times. And it's said that this is a really grounding and rebalancing act for the body. So as you're doing the massage at the beginning, we do the relaxation massage first going downward, and then we do more of the tonifying massage. And this helps to balance the body before we go in and stimulate the reflex points. So to do the more invigorating toning massage, we're going to start at the chin and move outward. You can do some thumbs and just do some nice stimulatory techniques along the jawline. And this is really nice and relaxing. And you can just do this a couple times, three to four times. And when you're doing this, you can kind of press along and communicate with the client and see if there's any sensitive points. That's the nice thing about doing this warm up massage is that you can get a nice feeling for all the muscles in their face, seeing if maybe there's some points that you're going to want to specifically concentrate on during the reflex stimulation. So start on the chin and then we're going to move up just below the nose. Do a little massage in here. You can do some tapping in this area. So you can use these fingers. I like to use my thumbs just because it's easier. And tapping is nice and invigorating and it helps to open up all of the pathways before we go in and stimulate them. You can then go and warm up the cheeks. Just do some nice massage with your fingertips and you can move up into the temples. 
And it's up to you as to how fast you want to go. If you go slower, it's going to be a little more relaxing. If you pick up the speed, it's going to be a little more stimulating. So that's just personal preference. So as you're practicing this with your friend or client, just get their feedback and see what they like. Go slower, go faster. There's no hard and fast rule. It's all about how you feel comfortable treating. And then you can go up a little bit higher. And this is a really nice stimulating massage is to take two fingertips and then start here and then go up the forehead and then work across. So I start with two fingers here. I swipe up and then I add my third finger as I get to the top of the forehead and sweep across. This is known as a really energy stimulating move in facial reflexology. So they say to do this in the morning and it really helps to wake you up after you've gotten up from bed. So most people would look at their screens nowadays, but if you want a more holistic approach to your morning routine, as soon as you wake up, do this massage on the forehead. And now that we've gone up the entirety of the face with the tonifying opening up massage, we once again balance out by finding point zero, just across from the ear here. And you can press and do a rubbing motion back and forth. And because we're tonifying, you can go a little bit faster this time if you want with more of kind of like these little pulses. Or you can slow it down, do little circles, or another option would be just to hold in that area. It's all up to you, all personal preference. Before I start the treatment, I like to keep the reflexology wand beside me. Although it's not necessary to use, I enjoy using it on the single point areas. But for time's sake, when I'm doing a double point area, I like to use my fingertips. Now when it comes to stimulating the points, there's different ways of doing it. So if you find a very sensitive point, you can press a little harder and hold that for five seconds. But in general, what we're gonna do is press on a point for 10 seconds. You can do some circular kneading, or you can rest on a point. It all depends on how sensitive that area of the face is, which we'll discuss in this lecture. So first we're gonna start on point 50 and point 39. So that'll be right around here. So basically, you can rub back and forth. You can do some slight circular motions. And this is said to be good for digestion, the gallbladder, and the stomach. Moving on from there, we're gonna go to point three, which is a little bit inward and higher. And once again, you can do some nice circular motions. This point is said to be really good for the heart. And just do that about 10 times or for 10 seconds. After that, we're gonna move up to point 73, which is kind of in the eyelid. So with this one, I like to just hold very gently because it is such a sensitive point. And point 73 is said to be good for any lung condition. So we're going to hold there for 10 seconds and release and then move on to point 61, which is kind of in the crease of the nose here. And this is said to be good for getting rid of sinus congestion as well as good for releasing endorphins because if the sinuses are congested, it also will help to uh, decrease actually the endorphins that are released which is going to lead to issues for the client so by stimulating this point we help to open up that area and you could do it for about 10 seconds moving on from there we're gonna go to point 8 which is just at the bridge of the nose right around here so with this one, you can start to use the reflexology wand. And I like to use the more ballpoint end, but you can also use the more specific end, just depends. But for a general treatment, I like to use the ballpoint end. 
And with this one, because it's a sensitive area, I like to just hold in that area for 10 seconds. And this is said to be good for lowering blood pressure. Release that, and then move on to point 34, which is just on the edge of the eyebrows here. And once again, this is a really sensitive area, so I don't like to place too much pressure. So I'll just hold in this area. And it's said that pressing down here is really nice for relaxing the nervous system. Now, moving on from that, we're gonna go to point 26, which is kind of your third eye. And it said that if there's any congestion in this area, that it can relate to stress or some sort of illness. So we're going between the eyebrows here. And this is really nice for calming the client. It's a really grounding point. And with this one, you could do a little bit of circular motions. And then, or just hold there for 10 seconds. Moving on from point 26, we're gonna go a little bit higher to point 103, which is right in the middle of the forehead. And this is said to help stimulate the chakras. So you can hold there, do some circular motions. You don't have to use the wand, you can use your fingertip if you want, and just press down there. You can use your other hand as kind of a stabilizing agent, and it's just nice and calming for the client to have that warm touch on their scalp. After that, we're gonna to travel to the top of the head, which is right here, point 126. And with this one, I like to actually press down with both thumbs and kind of create this cradle with my hands. And I find that once again, the warmth of my touch and having my hands on the scalp is really nice for the client. This point is said to help with any tailbone pain. And then finally, to finish this first set of reflexes, we're gonna to go to point 124, which is gonna be in the middle of the forehead here, just off to the sides. And this is said to help relax the nervous system. Now with this one, you could do more of a broad contact with the thumbs. And once again, press in. And as you guys are practicing this with a client or a friend, See how much pressure that they like. Everyone's gonna be different, so there's, once again, no hard and fast rule to this stuff. You know, just like everyone has different likes, different needs. So communicate with the client, try it out on a couple people, practice the sequence, and see what generally people like. So now that we're moving down the head, we're gonna go more down in this direction. So we're gonna go on point 180, which is right here, kind of in the temples. And this is really nice for migraines. So basically you can go right here, go off the eyebrows and then just travel along. And right around here, you're gonna press down. You don't need a lot of pressure in this area. This is another one where I like to do just a little bit of circular motion with my fingertips. And you can do that for about 10 seconds. This is a really nice one. I find clients really like this point. You can even use two fingers if you want in this area and just do some nice circular kneading. Moving on from there, we're actually gonna travel just here below the nose with point 19, which is just below the nose. So this one, I actually, Actually, sorry, Shelby. I actually like to use the reflexology wand. Don't do what I just did. And you can press down here. It's a little bit sensitive, so be aware of that. So as you're working with the wand, once again, communicate with the people that you practice on to see what kind of pressure that people like. And this point is actually said to be good for relieving any colon distress 
or lower abdomen issues. And then moving on from 19, just below it, just above the lip, right around here, once again, I'll use the broad kind of ballpoint edge of the tool and just press in this area. And once again, it's a sensitive area, so I don't like to do any kind of circular kneading here. I just like to press in. And for this one, it's actually said to be good for the pancreas. And then after stimulating 63, we're gonna move on to 17, which is on both sides, just off the lip right around here. So with 17, I like to press in with my two fingers. You can kind of relax your hands on the person's face, or you can float above whatever feels comfortable. And once again, this is a sensitive area, but I like to do a little bit of circular kneading on this one. So you can do that for about 10 seconds. And don't be afraid to ask clients for the treatment to let you know when they feel like there's a very sensitive point. So if there is a sensitive point, let's assume maybe it's right around here. And basically if the client says, oh, this side is, is sensitive, you can essentially press in a little bit harder for five seconds. And you don't wanna go super, super hard, but you are gonna press down with a little bit of a firm pressure and then release. And once again, this is something that you're gonna test out when you're practicing. I find a really nice thing that you could do is kind of massage around this area of the sinuses and then press down with a firm-ish pressure for five seconds and then let go and then massage down the sinuses and that's really nice for draining the sinuses. It's a technique that works really well. So moving on from there, we're gonna to go to point 38. So 17 was right around here where we left off and 38 is just gonna be a little bit more above. So once again, because it's on both sides, I like to use my fingertips. And with this one, you're gonna feel kind of the tops of the gums. So it is a sensitive area. So you can do some rubbing back and forth like this, just subtly up and down and this point is said to be good for knee pain. Now we're gonna travel just below the lip. Once again, I'll take my reflexology tool because this is a one singular point. And this is point 127. It's said to be good for the small intestine. So I'll go just below the lip, press in with the tool and hold for 10 seconds the sensitive area. So once again, not necessary for circular kneading. So I just like to hold there. Moving on from there, there's point 87 and 22, which is right on the chin here. And this is said to be really good for any type of bladder issue. So this one you can press down with your thumb, kind of cradle the chin and then move in an up and down motion like this. Or you can just press in on that area. Once again, it's up to you. That is point 87. And then from there, we're gonna go to the sides of the chin in point 51. And this is said to be good for any foot pain. So with this one, I like to almost press in on both sides, going like this. And then just hold. This can be really relieving if people have any jaw pain. And once again, for foot pain as well. Point 0.365 is gonna be right at the bottom of the chin, right around here. And this is said to be good for toe pain. This is a sensitive area, so you can stimulate with both fingertips if you want, or one, it's up to you. And with this one, because once again, 
sensitive area, which a lot of areas are on the face, I just like to press in and hold for 10 seconds. To finish the general stimulation points of the face, we're gonna go towards the ear. So here we're gonna go on point 16, point 14, which is right here, and then finish with point zero. So point 16 is going to be at the top of the ear, and you're just gonna press down right here. You can do this on both sides, and you're just gonna press and do some nice circular, subtle circular motions. And it said that stimulating this point is gonna be really good if you have any congestion or a runny nose, perhaps you have a cold. And you could stick there for 10 seconds, do the nice circular kneading, and then move from point 16 down to point 14, which is gonna be just here, right beside the bottom of the ear. Once again, do that on both sides. I like to use one fingertip and I like to kind of hook in and come from below like this. So you're kind of on the edge of the jawbone almost. And then once again, pressing that point for 10 seconds. This is gonna be good for anyone who has an earache. And I'll show you some massage techniques in a bit that with some ear pulls, massaging around the ear. And that's also really nice for anyone who has any type of stuffiness or earache. So you can press in there for 10 seconds. And then once again, to finish the sequence, we're gonna go on point zero, which is right around here, just off the ear at the bottom. And this is gonna be good for rebalancing all of the systems and for relaxing the client. And with this one, you can press up and down. And I like to do that about 10 times. And then after that's complete, I'll just hold in that area, get the client to take a nice deep breath in through the nose and slowly out through the nose as I slowly release on the out breath. 